In the criminal justice system, street racing offenses are considered especially heinous. In New York City, the dedicated detectives who investigate these felonies are members of an elite squad known as the Street Racing Prevention Unit. These are their stories. These rusty, dusty wheels and these tires, these tires and these rusty, dusty wheels. We're, we're so low, we've got no tread left right there. Very little. So the thing about it is mostly when these, uh, I gotta obviously clean these wheels. I gotta use uh, armor oil and everything. When these tires get low, that's when anything gets in them. Like, you know, like, I think it was last week I had a nail. When these tires get low, anything could puncture and penetrate them. The reason why I'm in like a uh, move to get the tires is because um, when Chrysler looked at my uh, wheels and tires and they did the underbody inspection, they said that um, the, uh, they could see the belt line on the inner side of the tire. Because as I've said before, these cars have uh, either a positive or a negative camber in order to help their suspension. So uh, basically, uh, they wear abnormally. Like you can, you can clearly see at the edges, these things. And then, you know, I don't help any because I do sharp turns and shit around fucking curves. Like when I come off a highway, I'm doing curves at like maybe, um, I do a lot of curves at like, like what, 50, 60 miles an hour and shit just to test and see how much the, the truck can handle. But um, yeah, so that's, that's uh, this tire and this wheel. And then in the back, in the back, it's a little bit better in the back because I, I rotated these tires maybe about, I think I probably rotated them about twice. But uh, the back is probably doing a little bit better. The other thing, I had always been talking about the fact that I wanted to change the uh, wheels and get new wheels and tires. But because I'm trading the car, I'm going to skip getting the wheels and tires. I'm going to just skip that. And uh, whoever the next buyer is, when they buy it, they'll probably put some ugly ass uh, fucking Giovanni or some bullshit like Sani or some nonsense wheels on there. And they'll just get rid of these because they want to be flashy. I honestly don't give a fuck. When I trade it in, it's traded in. You can do whatever the fuck you want to it. But, um, you know, I've uh, maintained this car to the point where every two years I'm getting new tires because, uh, as you can see, they, they start wearing so much. Now, there's, you know, there's a little bit of tread in there, but it's not much. So, basically, basically what I have... These are my, um, these are, these will probably be the last pair of tires that I ever put on this car. These will probably be the last pair of tires I ever put on this car. So these are general grabbers. And this size, the tire size is a 295-45-20XL. So these are brand new, as you can see, very, very thick. Brand, brand spanking new. These tires cost me about what eight hundred dollars and then it's gonna cost another 269 to put them on plus the wheel alignment very very possible that um i'm gonna be driving this car through winter into march before my lyric comes so basically these are xl model tires now normally i've been using um what is it i've been using 295 45 20 114 v but these are XL tires. I guess these are slightly bigger, slightly bulkier, but they're still with the exact same tire size width and uh, aspect ratio, but these are XL models. So I'm not sure how they'll look when they actually are put on. But uh, again, you know, hopefully when I do trade this car in, I'll be able to make the cost of these tires back on the trade-in. Because basically I'm gonna accept between 30 and 35,000 for this truck. If I get 30, I'm fine by that. If I get 35, I'm happy by that. But um, at this point, I almost, you know, it's like 30 is fine by me because the Lyric, I've got enough cash. And uh, if I get 30, I consider it an even trade because the thing about it is whoever buys this truck, they're gonna turn this motherfucker into a goddamn monster. They're gonna turn this thing into a fucking race car. They'll probably, one of these assholes will probably try to put a Hellcat engine or a Demon engine or some shit in there just to show off at fucking car shows. But um, me personally, I really don't give a fuck what they do, honestly. But um, for right now, it looks like I'm gonna have this car for at least December and January. I, um, I, I think my Lyric is supposed to be delivered somewhere around February or March. But uh, whatever it is, 
you know, we'll get it when we get it. So I'm just going to put this with the rest. You see this lady, this lady parked a freaking Lexus right behind me and shit. Like, like I don't have to leave. <laughs> fucking incredible. These people with this Lexus and this entitlement shit. So yeah, these are all my ties. Oh! So I got them four big, fat, juicy ties right there. Four big, fat, juicy ties. Delicious, juicy ties. So uh, all I gotta do is give this guy the key and he can get to work on it. While I'm waiting for them to finish with my car. I decided that I was gonna come in and come to uh, restaurants and just sit and wait because they're gonna be have my car for about two hours, give or take, depending upon how busy they are. So uh, this is a uh, roll. And let me tell you this, this uh, if you happen to be in the restaurant business or you run a restaurant, I'd just like to point out the things that I appreciate about this menu. First of all, no matter what you want to order, there's a picture. One of the things I absolutely hate is when you go to a restaurant and they give you a menu that doesn't have pictures on it, so you have no idea what you're getting. Second, this is a Hispanic Colombian restaurant. This is Colombia right here. This is Colombia. These are Colombians. Eat here. This is Colombia. So, because it's a Colombian restaurant, Everything's in Spanish. However, what they did was they put English right beneath it. So that means that now you can easily find what you want. And you can, if you don't read Spanish, and which I, I kind of can read some Spanish, but some of it is hard for me. You can easily find something and you can see a picture of it to be certain of what it is and uh, you can easily order, and it's perfect. And Punta Rojo is a chain. They have one in, they have a couple of them. Um, I've used one to the one in Jamaica, but because the uh, car uh, fixing shop that's doing my tires is over in Freeport, I'm in Freeport right now. So uh, yeah, they have Guanabana, mango, they have lots of different flavors. So I got the mango shake, because I'm a sucker for mango. And these are six dollars, but this is really good. Like this is better than anything McDonald's makes, with the exception of the Shamrock Shake. The Shamrock Shakes are magic, but um, the mango's good. They have guanabana sour salt, and that's pretty good too. Guanabana is good. I usually get my milkshakes with milk. Yeah. You have a choice. You can get like water, but they have milk. Um, and they also have maracuya passion fruit. Passion fruit's good. But usually pretty much all of these things are good. They, they know how to mix these things really, really well. So um, while I'm waiting, I'm gonna have dinner right here. They also have a bakery. They also have a bakery right here. And uh, they have like nice cakes and everything. I think I, I think I may have put this place in video one time before. But uh, yeah, in fact, I'll get up and I'll just show you what the bakery looks like. I think they got trust leche, but no, I don't see cheese. I was just wondering. Yeah, oh, look at this, man. These pieces are brilliant. They're doing up here. Oh. It's a trust leche. And that's trust leche, and then they have flan and everything. Mm -hmm. and this is the meat. They got the chicharron. They got the sausage. They got the beef patties, the beef patties, they have bananas, they put the cheese things, and the cheese melts. So yeah, it's a very nice restaurant. If you happen to be here in Freeport, come give them a look. Good food, good restaurant. So if you happen to be in Long Island, this is definitely worth checking out. Oh, look at that cheese. I, I, ordered, I ordered about 10 minutes ago. And look at that, it came right up too. Mm. 
that's it. Yeah, I'll probably take it off this. Off this whole eggs with steak, rice, chorizo. Day, so it looks like everybody's coming in but uh yeah we got some great food here we got some really really good food here everything's pretty going pretty good and um yeah it's, how can i help you yep. yeah this is um this right here is delicious this is absolutely delicious i'm gonna put i'm gonna put a photo on facebook I'm not gonna eat all of this. I'm gonna take the, I'm gonna take some of this home. I'm just gonna I'll probably eat a little bit of this. Cause see, I, you know, I usually don't order steak, but uh, they have, they make some damn good steak. See, in Colombia, they must eat a lot of steak. In Colombia, in Colombia, this must be. This, why do you think the passport bros are winning? Because the passport bros are all over Colombia, and they're eating the beef tech and the chorizo. And we're in Colombia, we got the chorizo, and we got the guanabana, and we got the weem. And these strikes are still at home, angry at us, and they're staying up late at night, angry at us. And making all these videos talking about how angry they are. We're winning, the Passport Bros are winning. We're winning all, Passport Pride worldwide, we're winning all over the damn world. Now imagine if you're Colombia, and you're eating like this for $3 three dollars a day you're eating like this you only got to eat one meal and you already won passport bros are winning winning absolutely winning so if you want to win you gotta come to punto rojo punto rojo in freeport you gotta come to punto rojo it's colombia colombia restaurant is colombia here it is this may be the last time that we got to do this shit this may be the last time Fresh new Brimbo pads. And that one's done, so this is the last one we'll be doing right here. And uh, we're good. I think this is probably the fourth or fifth set of tires I've been through. So basically, it's like one set of tires every single year. No, 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 every single two years. Yeah, every two years, it's like one set of tires. He said no. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we got these general grabbers on. Yay. Okay, we got a little bit of brake dust. Oh, that's not brake dust. That's the. I turned the uh, camera off because I didn't want you to see me greasing those palms. Because if you know what I'm saying, you got to grease these palms. In order to make sure you get the best in customer service, you gotta grease those palms. Let me turn this shit off. Fix my seat, because I had to carry these fucking tires. Yeah, so you gotta grease palms. You never know when you come back and you just want the best customer service. You gotta always grease those palms. So I didn't put that on tape, so this way there's plausible deniability. Whoa, what the fuck? The key, the key. And my wheel. He uh, took the plastic bag out, so he still has the uh, key. So he's getting me the key. Got my brand new General Grabber fucking XL tires, and we're good to go. We're good to go. All right. All right. I am fucking tired. I got here a bit earlier. Had them get this thing in there. Uh, but I tell you, see, the thing about it is I didn't want to have to buy new tires, but the problem is these tires uh, get so fucked up and they, they when you see the belt, you're, you're fucking with your life if you, don't, uh, if you don't change the tires. So you don't really have much of an option. You have to do it. 
So um, whoever gets this car next is gonna have basically new tires for at least a year. Okay, so they got the key, here we go. Okay, so he gave me the key. So basically we should be good now. All right, so I'll just start it again because I, I think what I was supposed to do is just try to take it out of fucking drive and I fucked that up. So, <laughs> oh well. Okay, all right. All right, we are rolling like Grand Theft Auto. All right. Rolling like a river. Oh, wait a minute. Are you supposed to do that when you get new tires? Are you supposed to try to break them in? I tell you, and that's the crazy... Let me tell you something. The problem with SRT products... And, and you know, it's funny because somebody made a comment on one of my videos and they basically explained it. They said the problem with SRT products is that they're basically selling you a fucking race car for a cheap price so basically at about 60,000 miles you have to basically rebuild this car or just and i under, i understand all that because i understood yeah my brakes are going to be fucked up i understood my uh tires are going to need a replacement yeah i totally understood all that but basically when you have a car like this you got to be prepared to rebuild any part it's like fucking nascar you got to be prepared to rebuild shit as soon as something goes wrong and something absolutely will go wrong it's like it's guaranteed to go wrong because and and i understand you know like these people who who hate fucking mopar and they and they're making jokes and shit i understand that but the reality is it's like um you know th these cars have things in them that no car is supposed to have like no car is supposed to have fucking supercharges and trans brakes and shit and uh what is it called trans locks and all that stuff you're not supposed to have that stuff in a car so when that stuff breaks yeah your your bills are gonna be high like it, it, that's just what it is your bills are gonna be huge you know so at, a, at 60 I, I will say it like this because i already said it basically at about sixty thousand miles this car's rear wheel drive system needed to be serviced and fixed rear differential new rear differential this time another uh oh mamacita who's this is this mamacita she's colombian oh my goodness she's colombian so basically you have to be prepared to fix these things at sixty thousand miles right so you're you're talking about your all-wheel drive system is fucked up at sixty thousand miles then on top of that you got to be prepared to uh all right all right you can go across but you have to be prepared to fix the, uh, what's it called? You gotta be prepared to fix the, uh, what's that damn thing called? Uh, air conditioning system. And now I think the air conditioning system is pretty kind of standard with most of these cars. So you gotta be prepared to fix that at about 70,000 miles, give or take. So um, when this shit goes wrong, when shit goes wrong, you gotta be prepared. And that's the bottom line. Now I'm fortunate enough because I will say this, I've actually saved a lot of money with this car because, you know, up until I'll say about 60,000 miles, it didn't give me any real problems whatsoever. But once that 60,000 miles hit, shit got funny. Yeah, so, you know, once that 60,000 miles hit, shit got real funny. And it was like every, it was like there was always something wrong. And everything that's wrong requires like a $200 fucking deductible, even with the warranty. Now, nobody wants to keep coming out of pocket at $200. And I know I, I dropped about maybe $1,200 on the warranty repairs. That And uh, it's not just the warranty repairs, it's the time. Because you don't want to have your car like in for a long period of time either. So it's, it's just a pain in the ass, you know. So my thing is, I'm gonna keep rolling this bastard right up until my Cadillac gets here. And I am really, really excited. I'm excited simply to escape the gas stations. Because if this car didn't need gas, it would be a totally different story. I'd keep it. But the problem with these things is they're aggressively expensive to fix. Because when these parts go, if that shit's not covered by warranty, it's like shit breaks. You don't have your lights on, dummy. And there's somebody crossing the street. I don't even know if you can see him. Yeah, that person right there is crossing the street. Look at that person. Yeah. So am 
my thing is, these things get aggressively difficult to fix. And I'm headed to the Southern State Parkway. I could have taken the Meadowbrook, but I just didn't want to. I felt like doing the crossover. But yeah, these things get aggressively expensive. And once you're off warranty, they're aggressively... See, and, and Dodge is suckering all these people into going out there and buying these fucking Hellcats. And they, they, they're still talking about there's an 840 horsepower Challenger that takes the 85. And yet they keep pushing the, 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 the date back and everything. That may happen. It may not happen. Who knows? It probably won't. But um, it's like, nah, I'm done. I'm done. It's like, I've had my fun. I had the Hellcat. I had the Jeep SRT. I had my fun. It's like, I'm ready for something new. I'm ready for some electric vehicles. You know, I had my fun. Everybody's like, hey, yeah, well, you know, real car is loud. And it, it, it's like, nah, nah, I'm done with that bullshit. I want something new. I want something. I want some high tech shit. I want to. I want to be. I want to be driving around a fucking spaceship. That's what I want. That's what I want. So that's just what it is. I'm, that's what I'm gonna buy. It's like money talks and bullshit walks. So you got these people sitting out there on the curb right there selling booty. You gotta watch out for these people. You gotta watch out because they they always got these uh, these strags walking around selling butt right there selling butt you never know it's selling all types of services it's like oh yeah these streets these shit they for the streets watch out for them this is your chance to be in one of my videos who's this ravi s from indiana so you get to be in a video ravi i'm guessing that ravi is probably muslim or indian because he has a photo of like osama bin laden and the picture or something and his name's ravi i don't know what that's about but uh, that's a nice uh, color for that car. I, I don't know if that's gold mango. I guess that's gold mango. Yeah, yeah. So here we go again. Friday traffic. We got a nice long weekend. Got a nice long weekend because, you know, uh, Monday is Indigenous Peoples Day. Indigenous people as in we hate Christopher Columbus because he's a fucking colonizing piece of shit. So much for Christopher. Christopher Columbus was a passport bro. See, Christopher Columbus was a passport bro. What he did was he flew from... New text uh, message from uh, Andrew no, Lillard. God damn it. You're interrupting me. Yes, he was a passport bro. He flew from uh, Europe and he came to America and he found himself these uh, young indigenous Indian women with dirty feet. And he got here apparently before the Predator did in the movie Prey. So he got here like right about the same time, either that or slightly before it. And he was forcing people to find gold so he could take it back to Europe. So he, uh, Christopher Columbus was one of the uh, the original passport bros that came to America. That, that's, that's the retelling of the story, basically. Got big ultimate energy from Maine right here, big ultimate energy. Try not to get into a car accident, please. All right. Look at all this fucking traffic. This shit is ridiculous, man. I mean, this, this is like a crime against humanity, all this goddamn traffic. This shit is a crime. It's not fair. It's not nice. It's just, it's just not fun. It's not nice. It's not fair. It's ridiculous. And I'm guessing it has to probably a lot to do with so many people who started driving after the pandemic because there were a lot of people who didn't have cars and then everybody decided instead of taking mass transit we're going to get cars so now when you get on the lir like i was getting on the lir to come into the city a couple of times there's barely anybody on it everybody's on fucking road it's incredible incredible all these people and half of them don't even know how to drive yet and they're out here though they're right out here this is ridiculous there's something a bit interesting this guy has a maserati and his license plate is Poseidon. I thought that was pretty interesting since, you know, Maserati uses the uh, trident as their symbol. Other than that, I'm not really sure what the connections to Poseidon are besides the trident. Because, you know, Barbados or Bahamas or Bermuda, one of those countries, they also use the trident. I've never really seen them claiming Poseidon though, so it's like, whatever. <laughs> There's a guy with a Tesla Model 3 who pulled up on me 
and he just said he loves the sound my car makes. Yeah, I'll let you go up front. I'll let you go up front. Yeah, this guy right here. So he put, I got people always pulling up on me and they either like, they're like, oh yeah, I like your wheels. Or I like your, uh, the way your wheels or your tires look. But this guy, he was like, yeah, I like the way your car sounds. Cause you know, that's a Tesla Model 3. So you don't hear nothing. Cause it's quiet. It's very, very quiet. But me personally, I ain't trying to make all that noise. It's like all these people tuning up these cars. Oh, this, you know what? I think this guy is trolling me. He's got a dual motor right there. He's got that performance Tesla 3. So I think he's up there like, yeah, I'd race you if there was more space out here. Cause it's just too, that guy, you know, he's got a fast car, but you know, it doesn't make no noise. And I, I think the funny thing to me is these people with these Tesla Model 3s, they must be trolling the shit out of these dudes with these Infinities and these Nissans and these Hondas and all that stuff, these Accords and all that. Because the thing about it is those Model 3 performance, those Model Y performance, those things are faster than all them Japanese four cylinders and the six cylinders and even their V8s. Like those things accelerate like bullets, basically. But they're not fucking with no V8 with 500 plus horsepower. They're not doing that shit. If you got a V8 with like 485 or more, they can forget it. Because even though they can beat you off the line, you catch right up to them. You know, I've raced a couple of those things on the road. Like you get these uh, these weekend warriors who think that they're faster than everybody else because they got that thing, but they've never been up against a V8. You know, but uh, yeah, whatever. I don't, I don't. Honestly, I don't even care anymore. It's like I don't feel like racing people. I just don't. I always got people pulling up on me and they're like, oh yeah, yeah. You, oh, you want to see how much power? I'm like, no, no, no. You keep going. It's like I'm going my own way. It's like I just don't care anymore. I just don't care. Like, like some of these people are like, oh yeah, you should get the new Mustang. It's like, why the fuck would I get the new Mustang when I don't even like the old one? It's like, no. It's like, I don't care about the new Mustang. I don't care what kind of engine. I don't give a fuck if they put a 2,000 horsepower engine in a Mustang. I just don't care. I want an electro car. This Lexus. They're probably taking this down Sunrise to the new Lexus dealership. This looks like a used car, I think. Yeah, this is a used car. I think it's like an ES or an LS or something. I think it's an ES, judging from those ugly ass lights. Yep, I was right. ES350. These things are ugly. And they're small. Yeah. I hate traffic. This traffic is just unbelievable. It's just ridiculous. Yeah. Oh man, it looks like another donor cycle. Another donor cycle right there. Anybody need some kidneys, lungs, heart, liver? Donor cycle. I would never ride no goddamn motorcycle in this freaking state. No way. All right, so Mercedes-Benz has a cars and coffee. And we're going to cars and coffee at Mercedes-Benz. So, uh, should be there in about a minute because it's like right up the block. It's nice and early. It's like freaking 8 o'clock. So, uh, I'm not sure how many of these people are willing to get up that early on a Sunday morning, but, uh, we're going to find out. Honda and uh, 
this here should be like right here. Oh, there it is. I think that's it. They got the place, uh, they got it crowded. Ain't that so? I'm gonna park next to this thing. Oh, this guy got his camera and shit out of his Model 3 and everything. All right. I usually never put my cars next to everybody else when they do these uh, little shows. Because my thing is, sometimes, like, I keep seeing these videos where people do stupid shit, like, they're trying to do burnouts and stuff, and next thing you know, they end up getting into fucking accidents, you know? So I always keep my shit away from everybody else. I don't enter my cars in any contest. Yeah, all right, let's get over there. So what's this? This is one of these uh, GLEs, like, my aunt got. My aunt got the GLE as a retirement car. Where's uh, Aston Martins? Oh, you know, what? I forgot my glasses. Let me get my glasses. Let's go get my glasses. Oh, Alfa Romeo. Camera and they model three. What's up, man? How you been? It's model Y. Oh, model Y. Model Y performance. I know, I know, I know. When's your uh, Cadillac come? Supposedly, um, like two or three months. They said they don't start building until November 11th. Oh, damn. Okay. Yeah, I got say. some time to wait. Yeah. I was checking out Mercedes. Uh, I was looking at the EQB and the EQSs. Yeah, right there. But yeah, I, I already. I drove that car. I, I drove that car before they uh, even put it out on the street. Right. It's cool, but it's a little small. I need that. I need that bigger yeah, Cadillac because yeah, yeah. that Cadillac's a big car. Yeah. You know, I went and checked it out like uh, at Saren, and uh, they're supposed to have it. Uh, if you come uh, to Saren, I think on the 14th, they're supposed to have it there all day, so you can get pictures and shit. Nice. Yeah, you can't be called big truck and not have a big truck. Ah. <laughs> Yeah, everybody thinks I'm a trucker. I keep trying to tell people I'm not a fucking trucker. <laughs> so what was this? Plug LYF. What's the LYF? Plug Life. Plug Life. Ah, oh, I got it. Yeah, I got it. I, I see so many of the vanity plates for Tesla. Like, yeah. like no like gas, you gas. <laughs> yeah, it looks good. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Oh, I know. I drove it. Yeah, I've, I've driven everything, including the plates, the ludicrouses. Yeah, I took my mom to drive this, in fact, when it first came out. I'm really waiting for the Cybertruck, which I was... Yeah, I think you're going to be waiting a long I, time. I figure the end of next year, I'm okay yeah, with that. But, yo, how long is that thing supposed to have been out? I know. Like, what, three years? Four I don't years? think he expected people to want it. He's like, oh, shit, now we got to build it. we got to make it right. Otherwise, we're going to fly. Yo, he knew damn well people were going to sign up for that shit. Yeah, he's okay. He knew it. And, but he's busy fucking with Twitter. Yeah, I got a white Hellcat. Um, see that? I'm done with Mopar, man. I'm done. I'm absolutely done with Mopar. I'm, just, I'm done. It's like once they took, once SRT left, it's dead. It's just dead. You're not gonna get the electric? No. The recharger? Hell no. You mean the one everybody's laughing at? Yeah. No. no. So they should have called it 
about the recharger. Recharger, charger, I don't think it even matters at this point. Well, we got a couple of McLarens over there. I'll go look at that in a minute. But you know, I've seen those cars before. That shit is boring. You know? Yeah. See, this is this is definitely not a dollar menu car. Me right here. This is not. What, you go to this, you don't see Infinities and you don't see Nissans and shit. This, this right here is not dollar menu. This right here is the uh, the bruschetta. This right here is the uh, fine wines and fine wines and fine cheeses. there is exactly the reason why I don't park next to other people because when they be doing their rev battles and all that shit, sooner or later somebody hits up. Big bang. I know this guy. See, this is what everybody expects me to be driving. Yeah, so they got this fucking music playing so the thing about it is it's like i can't i can't uh, like i'm gonna get parts of this video like like just killed because of the music because of freaking youtube since youtube's so smart that they don't have like an event mode or some shit where they make it so that uh, you don't lose uh video because of the music but uh yeah man let me tell you this gls uh i'm sorry not gls i don't know why i keep doing that eqs suv this improves 
everywhere on the EQS. Like it looks better than the EQS. It's all, it's much, 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 much bigger than the EQS. This is like, if you wanted an EQS, this is what you should get instead. And this one right here is a 450. So this has the, the same interior as an S-Class right now. So it basically is the exact same interior. But um, this is $113,000, which is actually fair because a Tesla Model X don't look like this. Look at all these guys got these Ferraris. Everybody got a freaking Ferrari. I saw a Lamborghini Murcielago pull in. I'm going to take a look at that in a second. But yes, this is the EQS SUV. Hey, Mercedes. Hey, Mercedes. How may I help you? Change ambient lighting to orange. Okay, I'm changing the color. So you see it goes orange now, right? If you turn up the uh, heat, you can also see like the, the light show basically shows you that the heat is going up. Like you can see the lights and everything. Yeah, this is, uh, I mean, this, this is a freaking nice ass Mercedes. This is a really nice Mercedes right here. Yeah, this is really nice. Please check your Mercedes me settings to use online functions of the voice system. Hey, Mercedes. Hey, Mercedes. How may I help you? Change ambient lighting to green. Okay, I'm changing the color. Hey, Mercedes. How can I help? Change ambient lighting to purple. Okay, I'm changing the color. Mm -hmm. Hey, Mercedes. How may I help you? Tell me a joke. Please check your Mercedes me settings to use online functions of the voice system. Hey, Mercedes. How may I help you? Tell me a joke. I'm sorry. Can you say that again, please? Tell me a joke. I'm sorry, but uh. I can't help you with that right now. Hey, Mercedes. How can I help? Where is the nearest Walmart? Here is what I found. Where do you want to go? Walmart Comac. I am calculating the route. In 100 feet at the end of the road, turn left onto Route 25. Oh shit, they got the rear camera right there. <laughs> wow, they put it right over the uh, map. Oh, no, no, no. That's not the rear camera. That's the front camera. This thing got the front camera in it. Wow. So, yeah. It's pretty cool. So, yeah, just like with the S-Class, you can change the seat and everything on this side using the controls from the driver's side. Yeah, just so that that's a really good feature. They pretty much put that in all of these cars for the most part. because it's, it's just a matter of programming. And this also has the thigh cushions right there. So when you push that forward, you get the thigh cushions for your thighs. Waterfall cushions to make sure you don't get like thrombosis in the legs, blood clots. I had no, oh, okay, so I see what it is. If people get really close to the front of the car, the sensor automatically turns on. Yeah, that's pretty hot. Yeah, this is nice. I might test drive one of these eventually. I, I would have liked to have seen this with the hyperscreen, but he says they have one, so I'll probably take a look and see where they have it with the hyperscreen maybe a little bit later. All right, so that, again, that's the EQS right there. I like that. Hey, you fit in there. Got room? Of course. That thing is huge. He'll, he'll, let, you see, he'll let you see it. Let's see it? Yeah. Uh, huh? Yeah, you see, those cars right there will hold their value indefinitely. But when these people think that they're going to buy these freaking plastic Hellcats and these plastic... Uh, taking photos of a Honda? Wow, okay. Is that, is that a limited edition? Uh -huh. Oh, this guy got the GT. Very good, that damn thing. That guy got the Viper. Yeah, this ain't, this ain't the dollar menu, mate. Oh, 
All I gotta do is stay away from the, uh oh, uh oh, we got this guy coming in here speeding. This guy coming in here speeding. Oh, he got the bumper guards. Hey pal, you forgot to take your bumper guards off. 720S. I came in here speeding and everything. This is a, uh, what, what year is this? 2005. Uh, you know what, I was gonna say that. <laughs> Very lovely. It was made in 05 and in 06. 2005. This guy right here, Jesus Christ, they got Corolla DeVille over here. That's interesting. Yeah, see, th this is when everybody who got these garaged cars, this is when they pull them all out. They got these garaged cars and they pull them all out. That guy's got the, uh, the old school. I bet that's the, the turbo diesel or the diesel. That's an old school Benz right there. Yeah, so while he was there, I signed up to uh, drive the uh, EQS SUV. So I, I, test, I signed up for the test drive of it. 113,000, that's pretty, uh, that's pretty high. But, um, cause yeah, and it's sad because these cars, there's about $10,000 worth of markup on these cars. And if it's not markup, there's also the price of inflation. I think what needs to happen is once they get enough of these cars out here, then what you gotta do is you just wait. And when you wait, you'll be able to see the prices drop just a little bit, either that or the leases. But see, that's the real problem. The leases suck right now because these, these things have a 7% interest rate. And a 7% interest rate on a lease, you're basically paying twice what you normally would be paying. So, uh, because, and, and that's the, the problem. The lease rates went up from three, well, they used to be lower than three, but they went up to 7%. Even if you have excellent credit, it doesn't even matter. They call it goddamn noise. See, this, this is the reason why I don't like parking with everybody else. It's because sooner or later, somebody somebody is not careful, and sooner or later, something get hit. Yeah, see, this is a real car meet, not like that bullshit we be having in Jamaica, Queens. <laughs> Oh, okay. Sorry. It was like spontaneous. I said, well, come here. Come here. Yeah. And then I opened the show. I said, no, it's the best idea to get those here, right? Yeah, 
These 2007 through 2009s, these still look really good. I can tell this is the older one because the uh, headlights didn't change. He kept it in good condition. That was beautiful. That's Mercy Alago. <laughs> feels good, feels good. Oh, they started up. Yeah, we haven't seen this a billion times on I tell you, after I've been in Dubai three or four, oh shit, this guy's got lucid air. Let me tell you, after I've been in Dubai so many times, it's like, I don't know, I'm not even like, I'm, I'm not even like amazed by like the regular supercars anymore. Because after you've been in, oh, this guy's got the i8, I'm actually more interested in these electric cars because they're actually new, you know? This guy's got a lucid air. And he's got the uh, signature edition. Like, this is like the launch edition signature. Yeah, see, the problem is if you park here, you got to park behind somebody. It's like, I don't want to park. Here. Whose car is it? It's mine. Oh, looks good. Looks good. This is a signature edition launch model, right? No, this is the Grand Touring. Grand Touring? Yep. Looks good, looks good. Did you buy that stock too? Uh-huh. You bought the stock? Yeah, yeah, I bought the stock. I bought them and Rivian. Yeah, I hope they I hope they do big things. Oh, the, oh yeah, that's right. When you ordered it, you went to the meatpacking district in Manhattan? No, online. This was the first ever one I ever saw. Beautiful, yeah. This is very nice. I like the color. Thank you. It's where they have the two tones, so the seats are black. The two tone, yeah. And on the bag, it's all white. Time. Time great. Too. I always thought that was interesting. They did that with the two toning. It looks great. How much horsepower does it have? right? Is this the 500 mile one where you could go 500 miles? Huh? 520. 520. This is a thousand horsepower. Yeah. yeah. yeah this is a thousand horsepower one. This is beautiful. Wow. Nice. Yeah, it is. <laughs> That's good. I like that. The finishes are a lot better than a Tesla, also. Extraordinary. Yeah. yeah. Like, it's not like plastic. It's like they got the no, stitching and the. the yes. Yeah, this is beautiful. Yeah. What Pretty about much like how's it? Quiet? Do you hear anything? No, it's a little noisier than Tesla, but the noise is beautiful. It's like an airplane. It's only a fly zone. Look inside the trunk. It's very strange. I just realized you have a two Literally, that's why I probably did it. Bro, probably like, I can almost fit. Yeah, that's a really, really nice car. Like, if you were gonna get a Model S, I'd be at this. I'd absolutely get this instead. I made a video in the meat packing district in Manhattan. See, and I know that they use a lot of recycled materials and everything in order to get this material finished that you normally wouldn't see. And uh, I, I'm all for it. I mean, if they're gonna go into the ocean and snatch bottles out of the ocean and everything in order to do this, in order to make these interiors, yeah. It's so pretty. That's so pretty. That's, it's really, really, really pretty. Uh, oh, oh, good job, Dodge. 
We got we got those Brembo brakes. Really slammed right into that edge. Yeah, I know, but we got those Brembo brakes. In the big boys. Yeah. Jesus Christ. We only got them too. Huh? Yeah, that's that's pretty. I like this color. That is a very pretty car. That's a very pretty car. If I was a woman, absolutely. Because I'd, I'd feel like being pretty. He got a wrap on his SL. Is that a C class or an E class? That's an E class, okay. In fact, maybe, shit, maybe I'll drive the. Uh, uh, but then again, I don't think they open till like 11. But I could drive that EQS SUV today if uh, the guy is not busy. But the thing about it is I already know how these things drive. All electric cars basically drive the same. The only thing that makes them really different is the range and whether or not they accelerate faster than others because they have like sport handling. For the most part, all these things drive alike. Man, I wish I had my Cadillac right now. I wish I had it. I wish I had my Cadillac. If I had my Cadillac, I'd have uh, parked in here. Oh, there's a Corvette hidden in the back. Nobody with no Rivians, no Bugattis. It's like, where's all that real money at? Where's the, where's the uh, Rivian R1T? Where's the Rivian R1S? None of that, huh? And by the way, um, right now, I'm recording in regular 4K 60 frame per second. Now I could use raw mode, but I'm not gonna do that because raw mode uses a lot of space. I think it's like 500, uh, I think it's like, uh, what is it? 500 megabytes every single like uh, half minute or something like that. So I'm not gonna use raw video. I don't think I need it. I mean, this is YouTube after all. Most people watch these videos on their phone. So V12. Oh, this is a new Ferrari. Oh, this is an Alfa Romeo. This thing looks like a Mustang in the front. Wow. Well, he's got a seat cover. Let me tell you something. If I had one of these, uh, which what's the name of this model? This model. A12. A12. A12 super fast. A12 super fast. Oh. Okay. Uh, I see somebody got a Porsche Taycan. Oh, and this guy got the SLS. People be criticizing me because, like, every time I see any car that even is shaped like that, I call it an SLS right away. Because, and it's funny because I've actually seen these cars in person. And I've, I've sat in them, but that was a long time ago. 
I remember when um, Trump had that McLaren model with this with those wheels that look like turbines. This was the same SLS model that was in Transformers. I, I think uh, it was Oc. No, Soundwave. Soundwave turned into like SLS, if I'm not mistaken. And and like, yeah, the uh, gull wing doors. amazing how like outdated the infotainment center is it's like the new sl has that center screen and the center screen and the sl the uh, sl the center screen looks so much uh interesting compared to the s class but yeah this is pretty this one's yours i'm guessing yep very nice thank you 2008 no 2012 12 it oh. came out in 11 i bought it during the pandemic during the pandemic? Yeah. Yeah, the world's ending. Let me go buy a car. That's what I did. There you go. That's pretty. You daily drive this or you garage it? It's a garage. I've been for two years now. Probably for another 500,000. You know what the problem is this year? This year was the pothole problem. Potholes? Every, everywhere you went. Everywhere you my go. My other car, I had two rims. My daughter went to a rim. I mean, this year was crazy. I mean, uh -huh. I started to fix up streets. It looked like on the LIE. It's like, where are my taxes going? Yeah. <laughs> well, I was, uh, I had the, uh, as you know, they're building an $800 million stadium in Buffalo. Uh-huh. So, uh, I said, I said to a reporter at CBS, I said, why don't you put the money on the roads and fix the roads along? And that's one of the reasons I haven't driven it, because, you know, I don't want to put damage on it. That's very nice. It's very pretty. How many miles you put on? I only got 20, 3,500 miles on the 3,500? Yeah, okay. I'm surprised you're not driving, boy. Like I said, the roads. It's the roads. Just the roads? Little by little, they're fixing the roads, but just where do you, where do you drive? And I like going to the yellow, I have the uh, see for always the bay ah uh, i slam it on sunday morning like today you know? but uh but getting on the lie is it's, it's a nightmare it's a puddle at the puddle. i don't usually drive on the lie i usually drive in the southern state the southern state for the most part well that that's even worse because you got a lot of curves there this guy got the rolls royce yeah, yeah. nice turnout And somebody has a silver SLS yeah. part next to you. Not the other end. Ah. Oh. No, that's yours. Oh, that one? The yeah. silver one. The silver one? Yeah. That's, that's, that's mine, too. 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 Oh, so but I love this car so much, I decided to buy the twin. Because they're limited production. That's what I did. Wow. So I bought the twin. I drove this one to 700. Oh, that's nice. That's really nice. No, there's a nice turnout. Yeah, I know. Really Bigger than last year. Really nice turnout. And you know what's so funny is a lot of these cars are garage kept, right? Yeah. But when you're in Dubai and you just see these things just passing oh, by, like cool. I was standing on the street, you got Bugattis passing yeah. by, and they, real they quiet. Got, they got Bugatti police in there. You know what? While I was there, I never saw one. I right. never saw a Bugatti police car. I saw regular people oh, yeah. with them, but I never saw one. Oh, so you've been in Dubai? But a couple of times. Cool. A couple of times. Your bucket list? Well, it's hurry up and do list. it. Just yeah. do it. Well, I just Take came Emirates. Back. You, you know why I was just at? I was just. In, I just came back Wednesday. My wife and I we went to uh, went to Gibraltar. Gibraltar? I never. Been to, I always wanted to go to Rock of Gibraltar, and I did it. I was there on Tuesday. Well, I'll tell cool. you this: Take Emirates and fly business. I know. I know. Just not. You know, know. It, fly a, business. I have a lot of uh, points on Singapore. I fly fly Singapore. I, I just came back from Maldives, so I flew over there oh, business yeah. class. But now I want to plan to go to Bora Bora. And I was gonna use uh, Air Tahiti Nui, right. but uh, you go there, you go business class, man. It's the most fabulous ride yeah, ever. I, I, uh, Singapore. Singapore has a new jet called the uh, A350 900 ULR, and that means ultra long range, right? 
So because that flight is so long, what they did was they retrofitted the plane to make it so that all of the seats are business class. And I was gonna try well, that. I, I just flew the business class. They're very good. I fly all the time. You flew their A380 business class? Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's the plane. Whenever I get on a plane, that's what I want. It's yeah. so quiet. I know. I love it. It's the quietest plane. So the next time I probably go to the Philippines, I'll probably visit Singapore. I'll use that service. Yeah, they because I'll tell you, it just makes the whole ride just go so much better. But uh, yeah, that's cool. If you get the, if you if you can do it, get there. You'll love it. And you can go you can go during our winter. I'm gonna try. If you go during our winter, it's still like 80 degrees. It's like right now, it's freezing here. But if you go, oh, you'll love it. Love it. You'll love it. And just go to the top of the Burj Khalifa. <sighs> Did you walk around yet? or? Okay. So this is the Porsche Tachan. Yeah, see, there's no place left to park. See, this is, this is the reason why I park in front of Mercedes itself. It's like, I don't want to park back here. Because, you know, then you get locked in. If you want to leave early, you can't. That's an interesting Aston Martin. It's a lot of green. Vanquish S. See, my my favorite Aston Martin is actually the DBS Casino Royale Edition. Is that a great Dane? It's a big dog. That's a great Dane? No, not you. I mean that one. Yeah, that's a great Dane. Which one? That one, right? Yeah. And what's, which uh, breed is he? She's a Doberman Pinscher. Doberman yeah, Pinscher. She, she, she clearly months. loves that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah. She's super chill. Uh, so friendly. <laughs> <laughs> She's loving it. She's like, yeah. yeah, so this ain't no dollar menu meet out here. Notice that you haven't heard any Notice that at these kind of meets, where it's nice and classy, you don't hear any of the pop, pop, pop of those shitty ass four cylinder engines with turbochargers. You don't hear none of that shit, not here. This is a dollar, the, the, I, I, this is a dollar menu meat killer. I don't like dollar menu meats. I don't like dollar menu. That's the one? Yeah. That's the one? Get up and leave. Got up and just left. <laughs> the Rolls truck. Yeah. See, you don't hear. You notice how you, it's so quiet, right? See, see, this is what people don't understand about like real money. Real money is quiet. Like you know how you got somebody walking by and they got like pockets filled with change and shit. Like you could hear them walk by. They're like. Shh, 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 shh. No, 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 no. See, real money is dead silent. You don't hear that shit at all. Yeah. I, I hate dollar menu meets with a passion. You got these goddamn Hondas, these Volkswagens with all these fucking four cylinders. But see, when you come to high class, this is high society right here. When you come to high society, high society car meets are dead quiet. Dead quiet. You don't hear nothing.
don't hear nothing. When you come to high society, it's nice and quiet. Everybody's quiet. See, but see, when y'all go to these shitty ass fucking car, look at this inside of this thing. When you go to these uh, crappy dollar menu meets and everybody has that pop, 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 fucking four cylinder rev up bull. You don't even see this guy over here. This guy's like dead quiet. This guy's like, I don't even know this guy's here. Right, they got a new Urus coming out. I think it's called a Performante or something. This is a G Class right here. No, see, I love I love high class dollar these dollar menu meat killers. I love them. This is this is high class. You don't hear any you don't hear any four cylinders. None of that. You don't hear nothing. Nice and quiet. That's what I like. Nice and quiet. Nice and quiet. You don't hear any rev battles with these uh, tuned up V8 engine. You don't hear none of that shit. It's nice and quiet. I love it. Seven sixty five LT. Hey, you got a Huracan here. A lowly forgotten Huracan. Nobody's looking at it. Me personally, I'm not crazy about the V10s. It's
it is a black. in Dubai they had a couple of those in the Brabus store
version. Not a single Bugatti, no Veyrons, no Chirons. Not a single Bugatti. Had this been a Dubai car show, there'd have been a row of Bugattis. wide body that older black Ford GT, the older model over there, is coming out. I've seen, I've seen that guy's car before. I think I saw him at a Belmore night. Oh my God. Sorry, man, those charges are just, I'm sorry, those are a little too played out at this point. Those are a little too played out at this point. It's like you're, you're, you're a little out of your class in this place. trying to crash that shit. I don't know why he's making a lot of fucking noise. It's like there's a lot of Ferraris here. Like this guy.
just let him in. Uh oh, somebody, they're doing burnouts and shit. Somebody, they're gonna get the cops involved. Oh, this guy's got the see through glass. Ready? Is he gonna light it up or not light it up? Quick. I'm no. pretty sure he will. He, he won't do it here. Oh, oh, oh. oh. As soon as they get out of the street. Here he is. Yeah, I've seen this guy before. Yeah, I've seen him a couple times. He comes to everything. Driver. Yeah, he comes to everything. There's a, yeah. I'm surprised. There's nobody with a Bugatti. No, Bay, no Bayrons, no Chirons. It's like if this. Uh oh! Oh, shit! Oh, oh boy. You see? This is why it's all fun and games. Oh, thank you. Oh, if everybody's okay, then that's not interesting at all, is it? What did the news media say? They say if it bleeds, it leads. Uh oh. Uh oh. Looks like we've entered the burnout phase. Uh oh, he's gonna do something stupid. <laughs> This is, this is it. This is, this is the burnout phase. This is the burnout phase right here. Why is he pulling over? What happens? He got to go back to the service center? Uh-oh. Hey, hey, listen. That's just a scat pack, okay? You just calm that shit down, buddy. Just calm that down. Them scat packs played out. Calm that shit down. Yo, why is he... I think he pulled over. Because either he has a problem or it's because the kid that was in there, he threw him around a little bit and he probably got a little shaken up, I guess. Thank God they turned the freaking music off. tells me that that guy does not pass his emissions requirements for New York State. Oh, there's a uh, Gallardo, white Gallardo back there. Man, 
this is some turnout, thank God. This is way better than one of those dollar menu meats, right? This is way better. This is way better than a dollar menu meat. You don't have to hit all those shitty four cylinders with their shitty fucking pop, pop, pop sounds. Way better. This is way better than a dollar menu. Here they come. Here they come, they gotta ruin everything. And we got the scat pack here. That's the SLS too. That's a white SLS. Now I now I see how to recognize it right away because I can see how the door meets the the, uh, the uh, skirt kit. Now I understand the SLS a little bit better because I never really took a good look at them. I always confuse the SLS with like an AMG GT two door coupe. But now I don't. Now I understand the difference because now I can spot those doors. Oh look at those wheels! Holy shit! Look at this guy, all these Ferraris trying to make all this fucking noise. Another blue Corvette. This is one of the ugly series of uh, BMWs. It's like they get, they're going to get rid of that grill altogether because that grill looks terrible. Uh oh, what's this guy? You brought a Kona to the, the high society meet right here? You brought a Kona? Really? All right. As long as you're quiet. to the um, art car meet, the art car meet uh, a couple of weeks ago, a lot of these cars I saw there because it was in Glen Cove and a lot of these people brought those cars there. So he's got a lot of carbon fiber in it. An interesting bumper design. So the bumpers are like these two big plastic shields, probably with a metal backing. Drive 
with David. Oh, that's driving with David. He used to have that uh, that uh, blue McLaren. Noble CEO, Noble Motor Cars. I've seen a lot of his videos. This guy's probably just here for oil. Right? Here we go. This ain't no dollar menu, man. This ain't no dollar menu. Uh-oh, uh-oh. You nearly lost it. You nearly lost it right there. You nearly lost it. type of loud. Not that shitty four-cylinder bullshit. This ain't no dollar menu meet over here, boys. I was wondering when a nice Lamborghini uh, Aventador was going to show up because so far I only had a Murcielago and a couple of Eurises, but the Eurises, they don't have V12, so who cares? Not like that shit we do in Jamaica, Queens. That's a real car, man. Ain't no dollar menu here, boy. No, you paying for steak. I hope the video quality on my iPhone 14 Pro Max, I hope the uh, video quality is acceptable. C8 is like the uh, quietest car here. Man, that thing is quieter than a Tesla. Uh oh, how about this one? Another Corvette C8. Things are a little bit quiet. You know, I want to hear the noise. That's not that's not noisy. That's that's very very quiet. Where's the real? Where's that? Where's the car noise? What happened? I thought if you put the engine in the back, that'll make it noisy. I guess not. That thing's as quiet as a Tesla. Alfa Romeo Quadrifaglio. I know this guy's loud. Chevelle. Uh oh, uh oh, what's he gonna do? What's he gonna do? Gonna do something? He's gonna do something, he's gonna do something. He's gonna do something. Okay, 
Hey, I guess not. I thought he was going to do something. See, I, I don't think people understand. If you have a performance car, it's expected to perform. It's expected to do something. You got it. You're going to crash this guy right into him. What do you mean, watch? You're good. This guy's got a big ass fucking neon green yours. You're getting some good video. Yeah, a little bit. You're getting some real good video. You, you're able to take stills too, I suppose. No, not just all video. Real video. Yeah. yeah, they got they got some nice cars here. You didn't come to the uh, art show at Glen Cove, right? You didn't come to the car and art thing. Yeah, they do that every year. They had a really nice turnout this year too, but this is a bigger turnout. I see a lot of the same cars. Um, it's, that, it's that art house. It's in Glen Cove. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if you've been. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think yeah. they were involved in uh, buying that and developing it. Yeah. But if you come to that every year, they had a nice turnout this year. Um, it was only like three weeks ago, if I'm not mistaken. That's the first time I've ever seen an AMG GT full of people. Usually it's only two. Oh, is that two dudes back there or one? Yeah, the car scene's just so fucked up right now. It's like, you want to buy a new car, everybody's trying to charge you like ten and twenty and thirty thousand dollars over. And see, Cadillac told me that I'm not paying over the sticker for my uh, lyrics, so I'm holding them to that. So I'm just waiting for them to deliver the damn thing. But they haven't even built them yet. What's the range? It's like three hundred. The, the most mileage I ever do in a day is probably like a hundred miles tops. You know, the most. I don't tow anything. I don't do road trips. Anywhere I want to go, I fly. I don't do like anything like further than like 300 miles. Now nah, I fly. Yeah. So I just want it as a daily driver. Yeah, 300 is enough. Yeah, yeah, 300 is enough. You know, if I was if I was going to do road trips or something, I'd have a minivan. Because first of all, if I was doing a road trip and there's somebody with me, I wouldn't want people in a nice car because like you know road trips you get really dirty people eat in the car people yeah. sleeping laying all over you got hair grease and shit it's like I, I would just have like a Chrysler Pacifica minivan or a Kia Carnival or something I'm surprised you set up here I'm surprised you set up like right there because if you set up like right there um, at the corner, you're catching the people come in and out. But. Yeah, I wanted to get a. I had a longer lens when I when I started. Uh -huh. Th this is a wider one I switched to now, so I wanted to get detailed shots. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you too. Got this SL. Got a brand new SL with tag still on it. Old SL Roadster in there, I believe that's SL. Yeah, yeah. You know, and this this new design that they have for uh, getting in the car, basically, it's like you're supposed to touch it and you slide your finger forward. But it's funny because even if the car is armed and the alarm is active. It'll pop out, but as soon as you pull it and open it, the freaking alarm goes crazy.
S4 or 5. <laughs> Those wheels are uh, interesting. Oh, he still left this thing. Oh, no, he, he still left it unlocked. Yeah, but I'm going to come back and test drive probably the 580 model because I want to see the whole hyper screen and everything. Yeah, this is the electric EQS one. And you know what I also noticed? It looks like you can get the backseat package for this car. It looks like you can get this with the uh, full... Oh, shit, no, this does have it. Oh, yeah, but this doesn't have the heating and cooling buttons, you know? Oh shit, this has the back seat package. Uh, yeah. So that's the EQS SUV. Oh yeah, I'm still looking at this one. I noticed that it has the back seat recliners. Yes. I didn't notice that at first because I didn't see the buttons here, mm -hmm. but then I saw it as like, I guess you could get heated and cooled seats in the back. You I can, guess. yep. Yeah. Yeah, this one's nice, man. The headrest buttons. See, does the headrest button move? Yes, it does. Or does it? Oh, yeah, this is so nice. I love this white interior. See, that's the reason why I ordered my Cadillac Lyric with the white interior. Because I, want, I really want a nice luxury car this time around. But, uh, shit, I like this. I like this one. I, I would just like it more with the hyper screen. This is nice, but I would really like this if it had the hyper screen in it. And then there's the lowly EQB. When they redesigned this car, when they redesigned this, they redesign this car and they give it the uh, center screen like the s class and everything else that they got like the c class when this car gets redesigned this car is going to be really really nice like first of all i would take this over a tesla model y any day of the year and this is less than seventy thousand dollars the only downside is if you try to lease it it's going to cost you twice as much to lease it because it's uh um because of the mercedes leasing right now is fucking seven percent so this one has a sticker of 59,000 but it has the manual seats as you can see just like the one that I test drove man I wish they hurry up with my caddy I really like that EQS SUV I really like that because it you know it's just it, it's so much better than the EQS car because it's just so much bigger oh this one also doesn't have the uh, moonroof that's why it's so much cheaper. Normally, this thing should be 63. But it doesn't have those extra features. Oh, let's see. Drive with David decided to get out. That's with the hood. Yeah, it's actually nice to see somebody who actually has a Euros who kept it. I wonder, is those, are these wheels? No, these wheels must be like designers. Shit, these are nice wheels. Drive with David. Those are nice wheels, damn. See, this ain't no dollar menu meet around here. This ain't no dollar menu meat at all. 
this is the Noble Motor Cars. I saw him bring this car to a Dodge dealership in Westbury because I, I remember this car specifically. Yep, this is the exact same car too. See, everybody want that Lamborghini Urus. Everybody want that car. Those are nice ass wheels. I gotta, I gotta give them that. Those are some nice ass wheels. Yeah, until you actually ride in it. These cars are so vibration prone. They'll shake your teeth out when you're on these fucking roads here in New York. These cars will literally, these cars will shake your teeth out. Man, that's pretty. I like that color. That is so pretty. I'm not crazy about that green on that Urus, but that, that is nice. That, that blue. That is nice. Oh, the SVJ is right there. Okay, I can take another. I can take a picture of the SVJ up the front. Yeah, see those wheels look boring. Those are those factory wheels. I like blue. I really like these blues. These blues and these green mixes. Yeah, I like that. I like that color. That's some color. Yeah, yeah, there ain't no dollar menu around here. You gotta pay for steak when you come around here. What's up, man? Hey, Demonology shirt? Somebody got to represent Yeah, somebody got to represent it, right? The only person that knows so far. Huh? The only person that knows so far. Yeah, right? And notice your shirt? Hey, look. You see them out there. Look at me. Like, we'll see you in two. Like, no, you don't know. Hey. Yeah. Yeah, there ain't too many mofo boys out here, is there? Oh, there's a couple of Hellcats. What's up there? Too many of them. A little outclassed. Oh God, this is a nice turnout. Very nice turnout. <laughs> Alright, I think that's about it. I mean. And I guess they're going to judge best of show. God knows who's going to win that, but I'm, I'm pretty sure somebody will uh, record the uh, winners. I don't really care, but uh, somebody will record it and they'll probably put it up later. Probably be on uh, Instagram. So if you watch Mercedes uh, Instagram for Huntington, chances are you'll see the uh, winners posted.
there's an orange horse? I don't remember seeing him. I don't remember seeing that guy come in. So he must have snuck past me somehow. Oh, it's a woman. Oh, it's a That's a nice color. He's not going to do it. I remember back when the Sopranos came out, the flex SUV for women was the Porsche Cayenne. I remember back then, and they, they were trying to use the Sopranos to flex some of these, uh, these Italian uh, supercars, like uh, the um, Maserati GT at that time. It's like right now, the, the flex car is the, uh, your is pretty much any of these Rolls Royces. And it pretty much these Ferraris, Lamborghinis, it's always the same. But see, up until COVID, you could lease these cars and you could lease these cars for less than $3,000 a month. But once COVID hit, the prices on everything skyrocketed. So now you're talking about $4,000 a month for some of these cars. Because the reality is, none of these rich people are financing this shit. Rich people lease their cars. So this way, as soon as that car starts some shit, as soon as that car starts some shit, they just take it right back. And they just hand it right back. That's why, like, if you look at swap a lease, you see these crazy-ass lease buyouts where there's people buying these half-million-dollar cars and they want, like, four or $5,000 a month for these, uh, these swap leases. You know, these, 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 the really wealthy people, they do not finance this shit. Not unless they really, really, really want to keep it. You know, they just don't do it. But once COVID hit, the prices on all of this shit skyrocketed. It's not even funny no more. I think that's about it. I don't think too many more people are going to come because it's kind of late now. Oh, look at this guy. He's back. Who's this guy? This guy's just standing there. You know, it's funny. Standing in the middle of the road is probably the most dangerous possible place that you could possibly choose to stand. So basically, I got here, I got here nice and early. I got about, what, an hour's worth. It's, yeah, I got about an hour, a little, probably an hour and a half worth of uh, video footage. how these Corvette C6 owners and the C7 owners feel about the C8. This guy got nice seats. Quilted leather. Got this guy with the old school Mercedes S-Class. And that's still a nice model. It's still a nice model. It's a W222. It's still a nice model. The interior. David here. Yeah, it's like these guys just came to drive around in a circle and then they just left. Of 
Grand Wagoneer. Wagoneer. Oh, he's got his family, so I guess he's not bought over to stay. And he can't stay. And it's the other one. I was like, come on, we gotta go. And, and I was like, but, but you know, the crazy thing is, you gotta be so careful doing stuff like that. Cause I don't know if you remember, there was a dude, there was a dude named Family Cruising, and he was on Facebook and he was on YouTube, right? And this dude had a Hellcat and he had his son in the car and he was doing burnouts. The state came after this dude and hit him with child endangerment, oh, sure. canceled his YouTube account, killed his YouTube account, right? And then on top of that, he also got hit for something else because his car somehow burst into flames, right? And they tried to hit him with, um, they tried to hit him with like uh, claims that it was uh, insurance fraud. So, and they went after, man, it was like the whole state was after this guy and they took him down. They took his YouTube down. They took him off Facebook. So it's like certain shit, like, it's like you don't even want to be bothered, man, with, with some of this stuff. I'm like, even here with fucking chance. Huh? Even here with chance. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Most of y'all probably don't remember family cruising. Because the last thing I ever said to him, because we would, you know, we had an argument about whether or not people should be allowed to have guns on planes. And this guy was arguing with me. And you know I'm a gun owner, and you know that I'm pro Second Amendment. But this fucking idiot was arguing with me about guns on planes. I was like, guns should not be on fucking planes. If anybody has a gun, it should be the fucking pilots, and that's it. Right after he decided to have that argue with me, all of a sudden, he just, he, he just completely imploded. Completely imploded. Family cruising. I remember when he had an up-and-coming YouTube channel. The dude was a moderator on the Facebook forums and shit. Poor guy, all he did was argue with me. You argue with me just one time and that was it. That was it. The whole fucking state came after the dude. And I was like, guns ain't supposed to be on fucking planes. Like, okay, the pilots should be limited to having guns. Only the pilots and the air marshals. See, a lot of people trying to argue with me, they don't seem to understand that my logic is undeniable. It's like, and they're trying to argue with me. I'm like, yo, listen, if you argue with me, that's the, be that's the beginning of the end. Don't argue with me. <laughs> when you take your pictures, where are you posting them? Where? Where's your phone? Or your media for Mercedes? No, media myself. Where's your phone, man? I'm gonna show you a trick. Unlock your phone. Oh, you mean for... Uh, I got digital business card. Digital business card. That's it, man. Watch oh, you, could, you could show it to us because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to put it... I'll put it on... Uh, I'll put it on... It. So, who do, you, who do you work for? I work for myself. So, where do you post your photos? Uh, on Instagram and on Facebook. I have a What's website. What's your Instagram? Instagram is in the camera eye with all underscores between the words. My website... Do you have it written camera. somewhere or... Sure. Or, no, you don't. Where's your phone? Here, here. Just show it to me. Cause I, the, my video, I'm, I've been taking video, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be able to see a QR code. Oh, you're not. Yeah, like uh, 
my uh, YouTube followers will see you and uh, take a look at your photos because you probably took better photos than I did today. But oh, in the camera eye. Okay. There you go. He'll right. give you a card too. Cool. I got. Listen. Oh, somebody popped out a drone. Oh, it's been floating around. I saw this new drone with the POV glasses and all oh, that. Yeah. I think DJI makes it. I'm gonna buy that. Yeah, and you get next, you know, you get seasick and you're walking around. Here's my card, by the way. Well, I fly, so I don't get sick like other people. I'd be like, I, I actually, I, I'm a, a pilot, so yeah. I'm a recreational pilot, so I don't get uh, the seasickness. Like I've never thrown up in the cockpit. I was watching a movie uh, the other night, Al Pacino in uh, Above the what's called uh, uh, Justice for All. Just oh yeah yeah yeah. So the, the judge is like, come on, give me something more to. And he took him out with the plane, yeah, oh the he helicopter. Goes, Sixty yards short. Yeah. I was like, oh, the first time you go up in a small plane and you feel that rocking motion. Hey, my, my CFI was looking at me. He was like, hey, man, are you okay? You gonna... I was like, don't worry. I'm okay. I'm okay. Because it, it's it's nothing like, it's not like being on a larger plane. When you're in a small plane and the, and the whole thing is. Oh, yeah. Is, you... you're, yeah uh, that shit will make you spill your lunch. Where do you uh, fly out of? Farmingdale. Okay. Nassau Flyers. That's the, it's yeah, the flying yeah, yeah, club. Nassau it. Flyers. Actually, you know, it's a funny thing. I just saw, I do a uh, Photoshop. I took some pinups and I made it like on the side of a plane. Ah, yeah, so it came out pretty close. It's like, holy shit. I'm like, yeah, really nice turnout today. Yeah, that was a great day. Great day. Wow. That's on the side of a plane. Well, I found the backdrop. You know, oh, I, you found a backdrop? Yeah. Oh. I, I would have to go to Republic Airport one day and uh, spend the money over at the uh, museum and you know, walk around so I can capture them. Ah. We'll have to bring some lighting. Yeah, pretty good turnout. Yeah, very good. Anyway, good to meet you and I yeah, uh, hope uh, we can see each other again. All right. Stay well. All right. You take care. A couple of Nissan GTRs. Ain't too many people really looking at those. There's just too much eye candy here. Guy's got the drone right there. This is either a Jeep or a wagon. No, it's a Jeep. Jeep Grand Cherokee. It's too small to be a wagon here. Like yes, back when I was your age, I used to get all types of tail. That's I think that's the same one that Ace Rothstein had in Casino Brom. Oh man, he's like yeah, I used to get all types of tail in the back of my Cadillac. Back in the 1950s, I used to get so much tail. Not a single Bugatti, not a single Veyron, not a single Chiron, not a single Dodge Demon. I'm shocked. AMG Bully. I'm, I'm really shocked. Not a single one. Where's the, where's all the Veyrons and the Chirons? Where, where that is that? Nobody got a Chiron around here? See, the reason ain't nobody got a Chiron is because a Chiron costs as much as like all of the cars in one of these rows. It's like, even if you wind up every Lamborghini here, a Chiron costs more than all of them put together. That shit is crazy. But not a single one. Had this been Dubai, there'd have been a row of Chirons. And the funny thing is, a lot of these people actually daily drive those Chirons. Some of them will have a Chiron. You know, I'm very disappointed in Bugatti for not building the Galliburn. Bugatti could have had a four-door sedan. 
and they showed that they had a concept for the Galibur and they never built it. Bugatti could have had that Galibur and that would have been that would have been a major seller for them, even if it was three million dollars. Oh. They just never did. It. What in the hell is this a taxi? These people standing there makes it difficult to see. These people make, who are standing right there at the corner makes it very difficult to see what's coming. the scat daddy is going to do something crazy I mean at this point it's obligatory and he's got a manual in there Well, the Aventador, okay, I think this is it. After the Aventador uh, gets up out of here, I'm out. I think the Aventador is leaving. Yeah, I, I've seen enough. I've seen these cars so many fucking times. I've seen the same cars over and over and over and over and over. So it's like, as soon as the Aventador is out, I'm leaving. I think he's on his way. I've seen, en I've seen enough, I'm tired. I've seen enough. So this will be the last one for me because I know he's going to do something. I know this guy's going to do something. Look at that tall guy in there. Oh yeah, I know he's going to do something. He's got to do something. Look at that guy. Oh yeah, I know he's going to do something. It's obligatory at this point. You have to do something. He's got the green light. You got the green light. Lamborghini top model to a car show. Not these shitty ass Yaris's. Not those with the V8 engines. Not those with those bullshit twin turbo V8 engines. When you got a V12 Lamborghini at a car show, you are the car show. You know? Yeah, everybody lined up for that shit. Yes, mods. so quiet. I'm shocked. Oh, well, here we go. Here we go. Oh, no, this is for Cholos. This is for Cholos. Oh, shit. This is how people get in the accidents. 
because the thing about, in fact, you know what I just realized? I'm standing in the absolute worst place to possibly stand because you've got cars coming from this direction and these people can't see what's in that direction because these people are blocking their line of sight. So instead of continuing to stand there, I'm gonna use the rest of these people as shields. See, that's how you have to think. You have to think ahead. I said, yo, that, yo, that's the Cadillac for you. You can't beat the Cadillac. Cadillac, that shit set fire to the street. Shit, that shit is crazy. Now that is a freaking show cool. That is a cool drink. All right, this. Yeah, you gotta come back. I want to see him do that again. I've never. That is the first time I've ever seen somebody do that in a car show. That is fucking cool. Yeah, see, your problem is you can't see the incoming traffic. That's the thing. So if anything happens, these five, six people right here, they're going to get it. So I'm going to stand. Yeah, like, yeah, 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 I have to narrate for the YouTube. Yeah, because you see what, it, you know, as they're coming out, they can't see it in that direction. And they're trying to do burnouts and shit, but they can't see what's coming. So if anything happens, just got to put enough mass between you and the incoming vehicle. Back up just a little bit more. I gotta take my own advice. There we go. So that's what happens when people hear me narrating. They'll be like, holy shit, what the fuck is this guy talking about? <laughs> and it's funny because he heard me saying that and they're still standing there. <laughs> that's the funny thing. Somebody just airdropped me something. I have to look at it because I don't even know what it is, but somebody is airdropping stuff. You know what? I just realized airdropping is a really cool way to share stuff to people when you're in a crowd like this. So if you get a better image or a better video or something, you just airdrop it to people. The problem is there's too many of these motherfuckers on the plane, they be airdropping pictures of their dick to the women who are on the plane. So airdropping in that sense, it's kind of dangerous because I didn't even see a preview and I just okayed it. So if God knows what they put, they could have put fucking porno right on my phone and I wouldn't have even known about it until I got the porno and I opened it up and I'm like, holy shit, this is porno. Those cops. No burnouts from him. guys with these scat packs just need to stop. See, this, this right here, like, I'm in the absolute worst place to be, so maybe I should try to put another seven people between me and the car.
quiet test. Imagine you're leaving a car, mate, you got your whole family in the car and you're not allowed to do burnouts. Yeah, I think that's enough for me. I'm, I'm tired. for the Mustangs to get. I, I think this is about it. I don't. I can't imagine too many more people coming and I also don't think there's anything really, really cool even. So I think I'm gonna get about out of here. Hundred thirteen thousand four hundred forty five. So it has the reclining rear seats, but does not have the heated and cooled rear seats. I have no idea. Why would you put recliners in the car without the heated and cooled rears? Does that make sense? 
It's like I, these things, if it was up to me, these things would be fully, fully, fully loaded. So this way, the used car market would be popping. Like if you if you make all of these things fully loaded, then it makes used cars like 10 times better. Because now when you buy a used car, now you get everything. SL Roadster. I don't know what year it is, but you could look at the registration. 58300 SL. In fact, we never even looked inside Mercedes and Huntington. Oh, they have another EQS here. Is this a five? No, it's another 450. And they have the EQS right here. This looks like it's a, a 580. So you got the entire. Oh, and that guy's looking at the S class. I, I tell you, I, I don't care what anybody says. I, I absolutely must have my electric car now. I have to. It's, it's, it's like a desire. Must have my EV. But you know, see, the, and the thing about these uh, these uh, EQS SUVs, these things are really, really nice. The interior is really, really nice, but they're small. See, the reason why that SUV is going to sell so well is because that SUV is big. This is nice, but this is just way too low. But uh, you got to love the hyper screen. You know, you gotta love the hyper screen. Is that what? Yeah. The hyper screen. See, that's the hyper screen. All the cars are gonna have the hyper screen. Hey, what's up? You gotta have the hyper screen. So you got the screen over there for your third row passenger, your third seat passenger. So if nobody can bother you, just tell them, leave me alone. I'm driving. Leave me alone. That is beautiful. This is a really nice spec. The 580, you see, if you buy one of these things, you gotta get the 580, you just gotta do it. Yeah, gotta get the 580. Now these, these, are, these controls right here, I mean, these control. I already did a drive video of these things, but these controls right here to me are a little finicky because um, it's like, depending upon where you touch it, you may or may not get the result you want. You may not do exactly what you wanted it to do. <laughs> like the S class. I always like to put my hand in between the handles so it's a <laughs> This is the black interior. Yeah, see, Mercedes knows how to do it. See, I want, I wish I could get this electric. I don't see the EQS, the EQS 580. That's really nice. The interior is really nice and everything. But I want to get this electrified. And this, this is a 500 probably, because this doesn't have the rear seat package. Oh, I feel like I'm swimming. swimming in here wow look at all that leg room see my uncle if you saw him if you watch my videos regularly if you look at my videos you'll see my uncle's brand new s580 and he has the full car with the backseat package and everything but my uncles are freaking rich so they can afford this shit because they're so rich this is fucking nice look at this damn thing switch Hey, Mercedes. Hey, Mercedes. Oh, I don't, maybe it won't work if I don't switch. Hey, Mercedes. Hey, Mercedes. I don't think you can hear me. Look at the colors in this fucking thing. I mean, this shit is just brilliant. It's just brilliant all around. This is red. Oh, no, don't worry. I see you, honey. And this see, but see that this black. I gotta say, Mercedes of all the cars with black interiors, Mercedes did the fit and finish that they got in these interiors is just incredible. Residual heat. Yeah, 
a switch on battery. Okay, so you can do the uh, interior lighting. Car looks like a freaking nightclub you're driving around. This shit is crazy. The interiors on these fucking things is just amazing. Can you imagine what the used car market is going to look like five years from now? It's going to be insane. It's going to be absolutely insane. Used car market's going to be crazy five years from now. Could you imagine? Like, like even right now, like one of those, the S-Class with about 50,000 miles on a W222, you can get one of those damn things for less than $80,000. If you know where to look, you can get one for less than $50,000 in some places from 2014, 2015. Can you imagine what the used car market is going to look like when even this car is considered old? Fucking cars are going to fly. This shit is just so fucking nice. But this is too much car for most people. This I can't drive this shit into fucking Manhattan every day. It's like I ain't got no place to park, and you're so worried about somebody hitting you. It's like you don't even want to drive something like this. This thing is fucking... This is just so much car. This is a hell of a lot of car. Now that... You know, it's funny. That... that EQS SUV is about the same size as this, but because it's higher off the ground, that makes it a little bit more usable, especially in the city. Because see, here you fuck your rims up. You, you're looking, you gotta pay Mercedes like a thousand dollars a rim to get a new rim. Like this shit is great. This shit is beautiful. This is so nice. The battery is dying, so you can't do nothing. It's got 26 miles on it. This is so freaking nice. But again, I, I see, and it's crazy because Mercedes has showed us the EQS with the 580 hyperscreen. And if you buy an S Class, you can't get the hyperscreen. Oh, sorry. No, 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 Phil, no, 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 ignore me. If you buy an EQS, you can't get the hyperscreen in the S-Class. So my thing is, just like you see that EQS where it's got the, the, the screen over here, Mercedes put this screen here, this screen here, but this doesn't look good in this car because the EQS has a full... Could you imagine if they had done a hyperscreen in this car and you had this full panel as a fucking screen? This shit would be insane. But they just didn't do it. And chances are, the very next S-Class is going to have the hyperscreen in it. So when they redesign this model or they make a new model W224, the 24 is going to have all of this and the 24 is going to be electric. The problem that I have is will it have the same size and road presence because the EQS does not have the same interior space. It's funny, I was arguing with some asshole who said it did. The answer is no, it doesn't. And there's a simple reason. The roof on this thing is higher. This thing has a much higher roof, so when you sit in this car, you sit much, much more upright. Like, I can sit straight up in this car and still drive comfortably. I can sit straight up. But in the EQS, the roof is so low and the car is so short, it's just like you lose a lot of space. But I got to stop arguing with stupid people who don't know what they're talking about because a lot of these fucking car reviewers... These guys suck because what they do is they drive these cars for like five minutes and then they think they know everything. What they don't do is they don't live with these cars. What they don't do is they don't have family with these cars. You know, it's like they just drive it for five minutes and then they go back into their shitty ass Volkswagen or their old ass collector car that they call a collector car, but it's fucking old. And then they think they know everything. And you know exactly who I'm talking to think they know every fucking thing because they drive around some piece of shit beater with fucking four cylinder and they think they know everything about v8s they think they know everything about v12s they think they know everything about v10s because they drive around some fucking bullshit four cylinder and then they they, they they smell in their own fucking farts think they know every fucking thing you know who i'm talking to but anyway whatever who cares who cares what they say you gotta do your own thing pay your own money pay your own way hate arguing with these stupid motherfuckers it's just like family cruising guns on fucking airplanes you stupid motherfucker that's what you get for arguing with me dumb motherfucker hate arguing with people my logic is undeniable I think I 
turn the air conditioner on, but wait, how do you how do you turn it on? Cause the car is off, isn't it? Is this car on or off? I feel I feel the thing running. I don't know. Let's see, engine stop, right? Place the key. Yeah, the key's not in the car. So why is the air conditioner on? Maybe it's just cooling itself or something. I don't know. Or maybe that's a luxury feature. Maybe the car keeps itself cool. <laughs> it's a fucking nice ass car. I gotta say, they, Mercedes continues to knock it out of the park. They really do. And it's funny because when you really look at it, this interior is basically the same as the 22. It's just that they have the interior panels changed. It's the same length for the most part. It's almost like they may have made it slightly bigger, but yeah, this is a badass fucking car. It's like when you retire, this is the kind of car I would get if I retired here, but I'm chances I'm not gonna retire in this country, but we'll see what happens. This fucking thing is nice. All right, that's enough. That's enough. If I wanna drive it, I'll go ask my uncle. I'll be like, hey uncle, let me hold your keys. I wanna drive your Mercedes. Yours is so much nicer than the one I had. These these panels, they got the whole on and off for the air and shit. That is so fucking nice. And this one probably also has the, uh, yeah, they also have the perfume dispenser. I have the perfume dispenser. Somebody told me that when I'm making these videos that there's a lot of light booms. And they asked, is it really that bright? And, um, yeah, it really is. Like, you see, there's lights everywhere because this is, like, a showroom and everything. So they, it's very, very, very bright. Look at this guy. Silver Star Gallantry in Combat. This guy right here probably killed so many Japs. He probably, he probably dropped the bombs on uh, Nagasaki and Hiroshima himself. That guy right there. And you'll never know about it because he's not going to say nothing. He's like, yeah, go back in my day. We bombed uh, Guadalcanal. Wow, that guy right there. That guy's probably seen some shit. All right, I think I'm done. I think I'm done. I think I'm done. When I come back here, I'll test drive the EQS. Oh, I mean the, uh, yeah, the EQS SUV. This is a GLC, I think. Yeah, this is nice. It's just not as nice. Look at that. It's not as nice. Oh, you guys were about to look at this. No, it's okay. okay. Yeah, this is just an S500. So the S500s don't come with all the back seats stuff. But you know, see, so I think. I don't know. I think Mercedes sales are going to slow down because Mercedes is uh, charging 7%. 7% interest rates are not good in this economy. So Ferrari, the Ferrari's up next. You're number one on the runway. Man, this, look at this G-Class, Jesus Christ. This fucking thing is fucking huge. Look at this thing. Look how big that fucking thing is. That thing's got like fucking 40 or 50 inch tires.
just sitting across the street. She's like, and she's in shock. <laughs> <laughs> she's calling the police right now. <laughs> interesting yeah I think we're done I, I, I basically it was over for me when the Aventador left <laughs> yeah that's it man I tell you the used car market is gonna look fucking crazy in a couple of years man it's like you everybody's gonna have freaking luxury cars that are used and then you're gonna have Hyundai's with V12s or something like that. no in fact that's not going to happen simply because of the uh, mission standards like this, this is that guy who had his whole family in this AMG GT yeah Where the fuck do you think I was? me personally I'll, I'll be satisfied to get my Cadillac honestly I'll just be satisfied it's like yeah I could get uh, a Mercedes I could get a I definitely wouldn't buy a BMW but I could get a Mercedes I could get a lot of things. Uh-oh, nearly lost it there. Yeah, because I saved up $80,000 cash by cashing out stock. So, there are options. There's plenty of options. Okay. So I'm going to check around the car. Yeah, I think I'm done. I'm done. Let me get out of here before one of these assholes hit me. That's all I would need one of these bastards to fucking do a burnout right into the back of me. Yeah, that was fun. Cars and coffee. That was a lot of fun, right? Checked. I, no, actually, I don't think it's the pressure. I think it's the sensor, but I gotta get that checked. All right. Let's get the hell out of here. Let's get the hell out of here. That was fun. Uh oh, see? See? Yeah, they're everywhere. Only the BMW. Oh, that guy. Oh, there's a red EQS right there. It must be a customer car. Yeah, so they'll call me and I'll be back up here. I'm gonna test drive that EQS SUV. Um, I believe Thursday or Friday, I'll be putting out a video of the Cadillac Lyric. Cause the dealer is gonna have it to show. So I'll get a nice video on that. It's a mate, whoa, here you go, Marcia Lago. and coffee you gotta come but uh over here the last cars and coffee thing i think i went to was the one that uh i think it was a uh, ferrari did it yeah oh, oh a red yours got a lot of these your 
Tauruses, man. Those cars, they flex the shit out of them cars. The cars are everywhere. Mostly it's like people, you know, they just, you know, because if you got a yours before COVID, you could have gotten a really good deal on it then. But now it's like the overcharges and all that, unless you're buying it used or you're, you know. And I, I will say this, a lot of these cars, because the leases are seven fucking percent, because the uh, Federal Reserve raised the interest rates, with a lot of these cars, it's more likely to see these cars being financed used because if they finance them used, they'd actually get a lower interest rate than they would if they lease it. But whatever, that's, you know, that's, that's uh, big money right there. So I'm pretty sure they figure out what, you know, they'll do it their way. Cause for some of them, they just put it on the business credit. And if you use the business credit, like I do for my vacations, it's like uh, you get the tax kickbacks and this stuff and all this, so, you know. I'm pretty sure everybody who buys something like that, they have a strategy of some type. So yeah, that was a nice, that was a very nice meet. It was nowhere near like those shitty ass dollar menu meets where you got uh, all that garbage four cylinder fucking noise. <laughs> it was much, much better. Mustang Maki. A lot of people getting these electric cars. A lot of people getting these electric cars. I'm gonna be one of them. <coughs> Just gotta wait till mine comes in. I am so sick and tired of saying that. Why the fuck didn't they hurry up and build my shit? I want that shit now. I'm an American. I'm not used to waiting for shit. I'm used to buying it like immediately. What the hell? Okay, this is exactly where I'm supposed to be turning. Yeah, that was a fun day. To be continued.